Lex and I are going to go look for the uh, gravestones of the pioneers of Jacksonville, but I just wanted to show you this very touching and very beautiful headstone of this young girl who died at age 17 years in 1866. And her family made this beautiful headstone with the hand, the leaves, the flowers, and a broken column. This is the Robinson block of the Jacksonville Cemetery. And you'll see below the name Robinson is Dorlin. That is the gravesite of Regina Dorlin Robinson, who was the daughter of Dr. James and Matilda Robinson. Dorlin was born shortly after her sister Leah and brother Willie died of diphtheria in 1890. The stone angel in the Robinson plot was one of Leah and Wilson's favorites when they passed Whip's Marble Works on walks with their father. There's a number of veterans' grave sites here at Jacksonville Cemetery, World War II, World War I. I found this one interesting for George W. King. It says he's a second lieutenant who died at the Spanish-American War. This is the Beekman plot in the Jacksonville Cemetery. The name Beekman is very prominent in Jacksonville history. With the name Beekman, you start with Cornelius C. Beekman. He was somebody who came to Jacksonville uh, to uh, mine for gold. He was successful, eventually opening up Oregon's first bank. This is the Lynn plot in Jacksonville, Oregon. The Lynn family was prominent in Jacksonville, Oregon. David Lynn was a carpenter in Jacksonville, Oregon, and he built the first Presbyterian church in 1881. This is the Britt plot at Jacksonville Cemetery. Peter Britt came to Jacksonville, Oregon, like a lot of others.
others to become rich mining gold. He wasn't quite successful with that. Peter Britt was successful in opening up a photographic studio in Jacksonville, Oregon. He was the first photograph creator link. And of course, the Brit Festival is named after him in Jacksonville. of going to a cemetery that's more than a century old is an experience that's very touching. You get to see so many different families and uh, get to a sense of their history, their experiences. Mm -hmm. But And you know, I was really surprised to see how, how pe I mean, people were quite young. Yes, that I was mean, something. A lot of that... them were in their 30s and 40s when yeah. they died, and then the children. That was very sad. Very sad, yeah. yeah. People dying of you know, strange diseases that you know. Now we have the medicine to where you know they probably wouldn't have died. Like, I'm glad we came here. I am too. Mm -hmm. It's really peaceful here, and just beautiful. It is beautiful. I mean, you really. Get a sense of history yeah, of the, the old Jacks West. of Jacksonville, mm -hmm. and get to know the people who founded this place. Yeah, you really get a sense of you know, the pride that went into building this place up from nothing. Everybody had their dreams of being successful, panning for gold. Some people were, some and people some people weren't. But some people found success in other areas too, and yeah, I think it's wonderful to keep their stories a, alive you yeah, know and it's a, a lesson for us too mm -hmm. if things don't work out with one thing there's always something else exactly yeah okay all right <laughs> <laughs> see you later bye